Intro part one? Fake one? Yeah? So today, I want to talk to you about writing a tattoo artist an email. So there are one of three ways to book a tattoo artist. One of them, and probably the easiest for both you and the artist, would be an email. When writing an email, I like to include these 10 things. The last two are optional, but are still worthy mentions, so hear me out. <laughs> First, and probably the most obvious, is that you should introduce yourself. Just be like, hey, I am so-and-so, just so they know who they're talking to. Simple, you don't need to give them your life story. You don't need to give them what your career is. You don't have to say any of that. Just be like, hey, I'm Jess, and I'm a huge fan of your work. Which goes straight into my second point. I like to butter up my artist or tell them how I found them or heard of them or whatever it is. Especially if you found their work through another one of their clients. It's also helpful for them to know if they're doing any kind of online advertising, if they're really working hard on a specific branch of social media, to let them know like, hey, I found you on Facebook, found you on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is. Let them know like, hey, this is how I found you. And then I always like to say, I am a huge fan of your work because why else would you be emailing them? By saying that you're a huge fan, you're also implying that you don't- You're not going to ask them to change their style in any way when it comes to what the subject matter that you're asking them for. So, now that you have introduced yourself and potentially buttered up your artist, now you gotta tell them what you want. <laughs> what's your- what's your idea? Are you getting a shark and an anchor? What kind of shark are you getting? Be as specific as possible with the idea, and if you can't be specific, be aware that you might not get exactly what you're imagining. If you're saying you want a, I don't know, tell them your idea, and then tell them where you want it. Where you want it is most important, especially when you have a lot of tattoos. If you're getting a tattoo, a new tattoo, where you have an existing tattoo, the new artist will have to take into account where your artwork is and how to draw around it. Tattoo placement is also super important. If you're not getting it on like an arm or a leg, it's especially important to mention it, even though you should always mention it. And then obviously size will play into your placement. T telling your artist the placement also kind of gives the tattoo artist an idea of the size, because if you're getting a tattoo on your back, pretty much the sky's the limit for how big that tattoo can be. But if you're getting it on your finger, it's gonna be way smaller, and maybe the tattoo's impossible to even get done. Then the artist can tell you that accordingly, whether or not they think that placement's a good idea for the subject matter you're asking for. So in your email, you're gonna wanna get a reference of their work that you like. And I'm saying their work because sometimes a tattoo artist can have multiple styles. If they have too many styles, huge red flag, I've mentioned this before. But if they do, like, I have a tat one of my tattoo artists, Brian Folk, he does Japanese traditional and American traditional. So I would be like, hey, this kind of work is more what I'm thinking. So you can send him a picture of his own tattoo, or you can just describe it. I'm sure they know what their own work is if you described it well enough. So I like to reference their work and what you expect out of the piece you're asking for and then any stipulations that you may have. I have a tribute piece on my forearm, and it's the Invisible Man, but it's not exactly the Invisible Man. I changed his glasses, and I changed his shirt. His shirt had to be blue, and his glasses were supposed to look like another person's glasses. So those are the two stipulations where it's like, you can't go full your style, or like you can't go full where your head is bringing you, because these two things need to be in it. So just make sure that the artist is aware, maybe maybe every single tattoo that you have on your body is pink and red, and you want to try and keep all your tattoos pink and red. Obviously, you should probably go to an artist that usually uses those colors, but if you have an artist that's like using orange, pink, and red, maybe just be like, hey, this is the what I'm trying to keep, and do you think we could tweak that a little bit? 
My, my boyfriend has a patchwork sleeve that he's working on where every single tattoo on his arm is done by somebody else, but every single artist has used the same or similar greens because the first piece has green and then the second piece had green, so they just... Then the second artist decided to match the first artist and it just kind of worked out like that with every other artist since. So we're, we're four tattoos deep and they've all used the same green. So you don't necessarily have to mention that you want it to be cohesive. Sometimes the artists will take it upon themselves to do that, which is great. So another important thing you want to add in your email is if you are traveling to this artist or if you happen to be traveling and you want to see if this artist can take you while you're on vacation. If you're traveling to go to your artist, make sure they're available and make sure that they know that you're traveling to them. Sometimes an artist will specifically try and open their book or leave an opening for you if you plan on booking them. Or if you haven't actually booked your trip, which you shouldn't have if you're trying to specifically go for that artist, they'll leave a few, like a date or two open so that you can book it and maybe you don't get the first date, you only get the second date, you could tell the artist and keep them involved in that whole travel booking process. That's a different story. But if you happen to be going on vacation and you happen to realize that that tattoo artist that you love actually is kind of close to where you're traveling to, then you have to tell them, hey, I'm gonna be in this location from X amount of dates. I'm from New York. I'll be in Spain for two weeks. Is there any time or any chance that you're available during those dates? And obviously, if not, then you're not gonna get tattooed by me. It is what it is. If so, they might try and move something around so they can take you. I mentioned this in placement, but you wanna send a picture when you talk about placement, especially if you have existing tattoos. Or if you have something on your skin naturally that you wanna tattoo around or cover. Unless, of course, it's a private area. In that case, you should just say in the first email where you want it. Don't subject anyone to that. No one wants to see your butthole. No one wants unsolicited dick pics. Nobody wants... Just be respectful. Tattoo artists are just people. So just be respectful, but be aware that you should still send a picture at some point of that area. And then, of course, you also want to send a picture of the subject matter. So I'll reference my Invisible Man again. There are a ton of different iterations of the Invisible Man. We have the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the newest Invisible Man movie. I think just the Invisible Man as a title has been remade at least twice. I specifically wanted to have the Invisible Man from the 1933 film. So I sent that imagery that I found because I know what that looks like, whereas the person I'm sending it to probably doesn't even know what he would be looking for. Send subject matter. The more specific that you want a tattoo to be, the more references you should send. I think this is more of an issue when it comes to somebody's first tattoo. They want their first tattoo to have so much meaning. Anything and everything that has to do with them all crammed into one tattoo. You don't, you don't have to have every single life moment that you've gotten in your one tattoo. I don't need to tell the tattoo artist that my uncle used to make me hot dogs and hash browns every single time I came over. I just need to tell him I want my uncle's glasses and I want my uncle's shirt to be the invisible man's glasses and shirt. I, we don't need to know my relationship to my uncle. The tattoo artist, while I'm not saying they don't care, they have more than just you as a client. They, that Their time is their money, and you should respect that. You can always tell them about your uncle when you meet them, you know? You can, you can tell them why they're tattooing you. So I would just mention that, hey, this is a tribute tattoo, and then XYZ, the subject matter specifically pertaining to that tribute. There's no need to word vomit your whole life to the artist. Do not, and I, I pretty much said this already, but don't send your artist pictures that are considered explicit. Do not send a picture of 
your boobs, your butt, your dick, your vagina. Don't send any of those things unless they specifically ask for them after you tell them you want that area tattooed. And that's it. Keep it simple. Keep your email as short as possible, but make sure you also say everything that is needed to be said. Don't waste their time and be respectful. And hopefully you get a great tattoo out of it. Hopefully these tips to writing an email help you in the future and all your future tattoo endeavors. Good luck, be safe, and hope you subscribe.